to or welcome back to my channel my name is Shamika and in today's video I'm going to be doing or recording like a little get ready with me this is my first time doing a get ready with me so bear with me let me see if these lights will brighten up just a little bit I think that's as bright as they go but the quality looks pretty good um so yeah I am when I say beginner beginner makeup like very very beginner makeup girly so what i'm going to do is do my brows first while my moisturizer sits in my face a little bit longer um and i'm going to be using the elf brow lift for my brows and i'm going to be concealing them with the maybelline fit me concealer in the color 45 which is tan i since i'm a beginner i don't like too much i think this is broken it is y'all and I don't have another one. Shoot. I thought this was kind of funky. It must have broken my um, bag. But yeah, so since I'm a beginner, I try not to do like bright, bright concealer and stuff like that because I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So I might need this light just a little bit closer to me. Um, but yeah, so since I don't know really what I'm doing just yet with makeup, I try to do... You know stuff that looks super natural so this is gonna be my everyday well what i've been doing every day so that's what we're doing i'll start with our brows but on the agenda for today it is my son's seventh birthday so we're all i'm the only one getting dressed right now because it's still really early in the morning but i was looking crusty yesterday so I know I have to go buy another one of these. This is broken. I just need to get my brows done today. Oh, I did not know this was broke. So if I get quiet, this might turn into a voiceover um, because this is my first time doing my makeup talking to you all. So I just wanted to try something new and like really give y'all a beginner friendly makeup because I'm a beginner. So I feel like it's only fair that I say beginner friendly because I'm a beginner. So that's all I do with my brows. I don't do nothing special, nothing too much. Um, I'm gonna use my concealer to line up under my brows. I'm not a professional. So if y'all have any tips, please let me know down in the comments because I take any and all tips. I did moisturize my face already with the La Roche Posay sunscreen moisturizer. And we're gonna go ahead and just do this. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my primer on. And because I know we about to be in this heat, I'm about to use a good amount. And just rub that in and let that sit while I do my brows and stuff. So I was using the e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. And on my lips right now, while I'm doing this, while I'm letting my concealer get a little tacky, is um, this right here, the Laneige Lip Sleeping um, Mask. So once I let that sit, I let that get a little settled into my skin. I'm gonna work on my brows. And I'm just using this real old crayon case number three brush. Cause again, girl, I don't be knowing what I'm doing. I'll be trying now. So I think I prefer a flat brush, but I don't have one. And y'all see how light, like how that is literally my skin tone. So because of that, I'm about to put this, I normally don't do this because I don't like what they call the halo brow, but I'm about to put just a, the teeniest bit above my brow just to get it blended up top too. So then it's really sculpted. And this first time I'm doing this with this concealer, so I hope it don't look bad. I feel like I put too much. This 
how that one's looking and I think I like it. We just gotta blend it out really, really good. All right, now we are, all we gotta do is blend it out. And I just use this e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. It's got two tips. I use this one for the foundation and this one for the concealer. I'm gonna spray it with the Charlotte Tilbury Travel Size um, Setting Spray. Spray my brush with that. I'm gonna spray my face too, just so I can get that all nice and moisturized before I go in with my foundation and concealer and for the rest of the face. So. This is my first time doing this, so I hope it don't look crazy. I shouldn't have been trying nothing new with y'all. <laughs> but I'm still practicing. Um, so I'm still trying to learn what works for me. And what I can and can't do for my skin. So this side got way too much concealer. But I'm going to just try to blend it out. Try to cover up some of these dark spots too with like the extra concealer. Cause I do have a bunch. So it blended right in. I definitely can't even see it no more. Dang. This is why I like a light a, a concealer like my skin tone because I don't know how to play around with like the light skin tone or the lighter concealer and stuff. And then I can always set it with a brighter um, foundation or brighter settings, uh, setting powder. So I just want to get real close. Okay, that looks good. Let me just do my brows, touch those up a little bit. Other than that, y'all, it looks good. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm in the way. I mean, I'm happy. So now I'm going to set my smile lines with this powder because I crease really bad in my smile lines. And I'm just going to take a little powder puff off the excess because it was a lot and then I'm literally back on put the crown on and this will just help set so makeup doesn't get stuck in my smile lines I think I need just a little bit more so I'm just take whatever's left on my hand And I'll travel with this throughout the day too. So now that that's good, my brows are good. I'm gonna move on to my shadow. And literally, y'all, when I tell y'all that eyeshadow is so easy, girl, all I'm gonna do is put this minted Yacht Life bronzer in the creases and that's it. I don't really do a lot when it comes to shadow because girl, I don't know how to do all that. So. I keep it simple. So I'm literally just about to tap this on here just to cover up that concealer that I put on my lids from the um from the brows. That. And then that. Y'all don't do too much on the edges up there now. I still gotta do my little hair. So that's gonna be after we get dressed and everything. And I'm just gonna do like a little high ponytail because the shirt that I'm wearing is um different. It's um I want the shirt to show. So that's it. Then I'm going to line my lips or line my eyes, which I can never do this, so I might have to get real quiet. Is the instant ink eyeliner black is black elf? A lot of the products I use are beginner friendly. And I'm just gonna literally line this. And I normally don't do this either, but we're gonna do it today.
Okay, y'all, so this is not the brightest, but it's like $2. It's cheap, so you get what you pay for. So I'm about to try and put on a few lashes. I was using these right here, um, the Empress. I don't have that many left, y'all. They all over the place, but I want to try to see if I can at least get a few on like the outer parts of my eye just to give it something. And then I can like do the mascara on the other parts. But I want to try to see if I can get this on here before. So I might just come back after I do this part. Because this part, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Lashes are on. Let me bring y'all up close and personal. So I do have a mirror right in front of me. So my lashes are on. And I only put like three clusters. Girl, that's all I had left that was going to work. And I... Girl, I can never do my lashes, so I have to use these little press-on lashes. Just like my nails are press-ons, too. And, yeah. Alright, so, since this is all set, so now we're going to move on to doing, like, our face. So, I usually use concealer, just so I don't use a lot of makeup um, on my face. I like, you know, a more natural look. So, I'm going to use, ooh, concealer. Let's just get what's on the left on my face. Um, right here. And I know this is like, girl, you're not even highlighting nothing. But once I do the minted uh, light tan highlighter, you know, well, light tan powder, it'll brighten up, but... Again, this is my face. So, I do what works for my face. <laughs> so, I'm going to blend this out. And then, I'm going to go in with my Rihanna, just in case I forget. Rihanna 18 um, Fenty. In the shade 18. So, I'm going to spray my face one more time. I crease a lot, so I have to I have to work fast. So, if y'all have any tips or tricks, now this part I don't think I could talk to talk through because my smile lines will crease immediately as soon as I start talking. So I'm probably gonna get quiet for this part. But if I do use any products that I have not mentioned. I am definitely going to hold them up and show you all. But I cannot talk through this because, you know, beginners. Um, girl, I be struggling. But I'm going to basically, so that I don't have a lot of product on my face, I'm going to just do the concealer and I'm going to fill basically everything else up with Girl, my light just died again. This light is trash. I'm going to basically fill around my concealer with um, the foundation or the tinted moisturizer. So. This is all I do. And I just pat this in. If y'all have, that's what I was about to say. If y'all have any tips or tricks for me, please let me know down below. I'm not really like a hardcore foundation girl just yet because I'm still trying to learn how to just do the basics. So if y'all have any tips for that or if I applied something and you, you do it just a little bit different, let me know. I'm taking all feedback. I'm not too good for that. Might do just a little bit. I'm really liking how this looks. It's just this is so like you don't know how to use this. Okay, it's gonna be so bright. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do a little bit right here and try to blend that in. And then we're gonna do so. I do this before the foundation or the tinted moisturizer. That way I could blend this in. And if I mess up, <laughs> girl, I can cover it up. Girl, we gotta, um, we're gonna have to set this under eye real quick because 
I don't know. I'm about to spray my face again. And we're going to sit under my eye. And I'm going to go ahead and sit under my eye so we don't crease. Trying to just get that area where I. I, mean, I probably should not be setting before I even do anything else, but y'all. I'm trying not to make sure. I'm definitely gonna bring my makeup with me today. But I mainly crease under my eyes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this right here. And I'm just using my little brush here. And this is an e.l.f. bronzing brush. So, this is how you don't know. This is how you know you don't know what you're doing. Girl, look at that. <laughs> Girl, I be laughing at myself when I do my makeup. I don't take myself serious. And if this video gets posted, then girl, y'all know I was feeling it and I was confident that I did a good job. Okay, girl, we blended that out. That's like all over the place. Okay, we gonna, we gonna cover this up. Then we're gonna go ahead and I think for this I'm gonna use my same this brush and just kind of blend that out. Please let me know some tips, y'all. I'm willing to learn. I'm just doing what I see the girls on YouTube do. Now I'm ready for my foundation. Well, my tinted moisturizer and I just do the slightest amount of this I'm gonna do like one drag and then one drag and it's gonna go under you know all the areas I didn't like conceal and I'm gonna just do a few dots up here then we're going to take our we're gonna take the other end of our brush and I will go back in with a beauty blender and do it but we're gonna spray our brush. We're gonna spray our face. And we're gonna blend this out. So, I don't try to use a lot, but I am covering up that bronzer a little bit, or that other stuff I use, but I'm not gonna try to go over my concealer. So, I did this a few days ago when I was home and I liked how it turned out. So hopefully it turns out the same way as the last time. Cause it didn't cause a lot of makeup to be like in my crease areas. The areas that I crease. But it just covered up, you know, everything else. And then we're gonna do a little bit up here. We don't need too much up here because we already, you know, creased or did our brows up here too. So, I feel like the one day I try to record this and talk to y'all, it's not going to come out how it's been coming out. But, we have to rock with it and learn. Just learn from our mistakes. I'm not going to give up though. I'm just going to do this just a little bit. It's not bad. What do y'all think so far? I can still see my bronzer. So that's good. Or like my little contour and stuff. But now I'm just trying to get these harsh lines out the way. That distinct um, concealer and stuff. 
I'm liking how my skin is looking. It's looking real glowy. I do like that. So that's where we're at right now. Um, I'm liking it. Now I'm going to now go around with my this and just lightly just set the rest of my face so my face don't melt off because I just know it's hot, y'all. I'm just going to do that with all the other areas that I didn't set. That way, that powder is set. Then we're gonna take our other brush. Oh, where is it? This again, just to buff it one more time. There's nothing left on the brush. I just wanna buff it in. Okay, now I'm going to just put some blush on my cheeks. I was gonna use my e.l.f. blush beauty wand, but I think I'm gonna just go with my Juvia's Place. I'm gonna do something soft. And girl, I can't even find my blush brush. Is this it? Is this it? Yeah, we're gonna use this one. This is e.l.f. too. Girl, everything I use is e.l.f. And for this, I'm gonna use the color, how my ear is itching. I'm gonna use the color Dara in the Juvia's Place Warrior 2. So I'm just gonna take just a little bit. And I notice my face doesn't like, um, a lot of powder, but I feel like since we out here in this, In this heat, we're gonna do that. And I feel like that just brought some color back into my face. Again, if I applied that wrong, girl, I'm just gonna buff over it. <laughs> just in guys. So now I want to line under my eyes because I just want some color under here. Never done this lately. And this is in the color hot chocolate. This is my other, this is my new one. My old one is right here, which I use on my lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. Now look how I just overline my lips. Y'all, I promise, like, I be messing up. And I'm going to use my ColourPop Glossy Lips in the color Major Throwback. Then, last but not least, I always like a little beauty mark on my face. So, um, because I have one right here, so I like to just define it with one little drop of this Epic Wear. Y'all, this is waterproof. So, baby, I can't put this on my lids because I always mess up. So, I'm just going to do a drop here. And then, usually, I do it right here, too. But I think I'm going to go to the other side. I'm just switching everything up with y'all. And there. And honestly, I don't know if I like it. But it's there. I can't take it off. And... This is my face. So now I'm going to set my face one last time with everything. And I like it. I'm, I feel like I'm getting better and better. Of course, it's going to come with practice. So let me go ahead and set my face. And I'll be drying my face in this stuff. So that, again, is the Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm all done. This is everything that I do. It probably took me a little minute because I was talking and running my mouth with y'all. But I'm going to let that just soak into my skin while I clean up. We're going to go get dressed and then we're going to be done. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, and I think I showed y'all everything that I used. All right, loves. Here's the final look of the makeup. 
I am really, really excited how it turned out. Um, I have to wear glasses. I'm a glasses girl. I don't really wear contacts that much, but I'm really excited how it turned out. I'll leave a little picture right here of my full outfit. That's what we're going with for today. I had to change because I didn't like the other shirt. Um, but this is it. This is the look. This is the look, girls. It would be how the, how the girls be doing it all in slow motion when they be beating their face. Give me a cute little thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, this is the look. And I'm really excited about how it came out. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know down in the comments. Tips and tricks and everything that y'all have for me. Um, and I will definitely see y'all in another video. If y'all like videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Because I do a bunch of budgeting. But baby, we could do our makeup on a budget too. So that's where y'all gonna see a lot of budget friendly products. Makeup products. Because I don't use a lot of expensive stuff. So yeah. Definitely come back for another video, but I will see y'all later. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all later. Bye.